My mom told me you should name the kid based on the first thing you think of when you hold the baby for the first time. She goes, that's what I did with all five of you kids. I saw your face, the name came to me, it was perfect. I'm like, that's a good theory for you, but I think a lot of weird stuff when I'm holding a newborn baby. <laughs> I don't want to name them that by mistake. They're like, Mr. Buds, here's your child. I'm like, oh, gross. <laughs> They're like, he said gross, put it on the birth certificate. One S or two? I'm like, one S, one dollar sign. This baby's going to be a rapper. <laughs> and it's pronounced G-Rose. So <laughs> get it right or this baby will shoot you sideways. <laughs> I hate doctors in general. I hate the eye doctor. I had to go to the eye doctor the other day. I don't even think they're real doctors. They just put you in that little room. They turn off the lights. They explain these crazy tests. I never know what I'm supposed to do. They're like, all right, put your eyes to the machine. You're going to see a picture of a farmhouse. Every time the front door flickers on the farmhouse, click this clicker. Go. I'm like, what? And stop. I'm like, how'd I do? He's like, we didn't even show the farmhouse, and you clicked it 100 times. I'm like, what does that mean? He's like, you owe us $400. That's what that means. Sit tight, we're gonna scare the hell out of you with that puff of air in the eye. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> Sitting there anticipating it, they're like, here it comes. You're like, <laughs> are you gonna do it? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that for? <laughs> Just wanted to make sure your eyes still hate surprises. <laughs> All part of the exam. <laughs> My eye doctor told me I should get LASIK surgery. He goes, you should get LASIK surgery. It's no big deal. I looked it up online. It is a big deal. It's $1,500 an eye. There's tons of side effects. And the surgery can wear off. Can you imagine if their surgeries just wore off? You're like, My appendix, it's back. <laughs> Gonna miss my tonsils. Oh my God, Mom, get the ice cream. Get the ice cream. Oh man, I sure missed my arm from that Traxster accident. Ah! That's great. Live in Burbank, California, uh, which I'm excited about because they have an Ikea there. Uh, just kidding, I hate Ikea. That's a blue and yellow nightmare. That's so <laughs> I go to Ikea about every year or so to remind myself that I can still have panic attacks. That whole store is just a maze of sick kids coughing in pillows. <laughs> And at the end of the maze, holy crap, meatballs, look out! You know, when you're furniture shopping, you're like, I'm parched, I could go for a plate of horse meat right now. Do they have, have that on the way out? My wife's like, maybe we should get some meatballs. There's a long line. I'm like, I'm still full from all that sushi they put out at Staples. That was a surprise. It's bad for a fat country, you guys. I'll leave you with this. It's bad for a fat country to have meatballs on the way out of the furniture store. We're gonna expect little treats on the way to every store now. Like, oh yeah, great jewelry, Jared, but I'm here for the donuts. <laughs> Should fit this finger for a bear claw. <laughs> every kiss begins with K, and we're gonna go steal their Hershey's after this. <laughs> Met a guy in Ikea who builds Ikea stores, you guys. He builds Ikea stores. I was like, those must be a pain to put together. <laughs> right? like, Here's some bricks and an Allen wrench. Make it happen. <laughs> Damn Swedes. I'm Ryan Butts. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. <laughs>